Uh, what I got is a question from Fabian. Fabian's got a 70 Mustang Fastback with a 302 engine in it. And what he wants to know is, what's the big deal on putting a 87 and 93 fuel injected in, um, system on his old Mustang? Um, seems like a good idea to me. We've actually done quite a bit of this stuff here. And it works out pretty good, man. I mean, when you bolt this stuff on and you start the car up on old Mustang, you'd swear it was a newer Mustang that was idling there in front of you. It does sound really good. Uh, the throttle response is right there for you. The warm-up period as far as the cold start, medium start, hot start goes, starts right up. Runs really good with this system here. Great system. The carburetor, well, the drawback on the old carburetors was that the cold start was a little hesitant. You had stalling in it. So that, that was about the downfall there. Um, the fuel injection, you got a lot of parts here, man. I mean, you're going to spend big bucks to put this system on your car. If you went with new parts front to rear, you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars. You're also putting all the problematic things that new cars have on an old car. Uh, like you got check engine lights, you got throttle position sensors, you got all sorts of sensors that can go wrong. You're pressurizing your fuel system, so you got a whole gas tank situation you got to deal with, and it has to be a sealed system. The plumbing um, and the electrical is a whole other thing. So if you're paying somebody, you're spending some big bucks to put this system on. What do you got if you want to put a carburetor on? Well, basically, you got a carburetor. Uh, that's the short and the long of it. There's not much more to it. You got a carburetor, the fuel pump bolts to the side of the, the engine, which is mechanically driven. That's about it. There's not much more than that that can go wrong. Uh, racers at the drag strip, they tend to really run carburetors. The reliability of the old carburetor is still a good thing and they're much less problematic and a lot less expensive to fix. Uh, for the street, I've been seeing more and more of the fuel injection thing and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. You just got to be prepared for some problems and you got to be prepared for a big expense. So send me a video on that. I'd like to see that when it's done and I'll post it on my show.